All right, so we got this pool, and uh, it's got this little tiny ass pump. Sorry for the cussing. Anyway, it's got the little tiny. Let's see if I can get this camera to work where I need it to. And it's got little hoses and everything. So what I want to do is I want to hard line all this in plastic, PVC, piping, and we also bought upgrades. Let's go over here into the pool shop or pool house, whatever we want to call it. And we got this sand pump. It's an 18 inch sand filter system, one horsepower. And we also got this uh, on the edge skimmer for the bugs. And we also picked up this. These are all upgrades. Well, these aren't upgrades, but the sand pump is an upgrade. And we're gonna show today how to install that onto the pool. So stick around and uh, show you how to get this done. As best of my knowledge, I'm not a professional, but I'm gonna put this on, definitely. So we're probably gonna end up taking you to Home Depot, showing all the fittings that we need to buy and new hoses because from what I understand, the hoses that are on there are not strong enough. They'll collapse. So we have to get new hoses for over there close to the pool. So it shouldn't be too much. All right, stay tuned. All right, so we took the liberty of unboxing everything. So now we have the coupling, which that goes at the top of the uh, tank, whatever that thing is. This is your big pump, switch, whatever. And then you've got these little things here. We're not sure where they go. You've got two white ones, three gray ones. This lid is what goes on top of the motor. We hope, we're just, we were playing. So we, we believe this goes right here because all the holes line up. And then on this base, so you can see this comes as separate pieces. There's actually an arrow because if you don't match it up right, there's an arrow right here. And it matches up with an arrow on the other base. And that's where the screw holes all will line up on that inner one. And I believe on the outer ones as well. So we got those, all that put together. We got all everything separated and taken apart. Um, it comes with Teflon tape. So you want to make sure you use your Teflon tape. Keep track of all your bolts so you don't lose them. And then uh, here's a, a pressure switch, pressure gauge for being able to tell if your sand is completely clogged or not and then this is the top obviously a top that goes on top of this so you can see what's inside there so now we're going to go to fitting things together so that means we got to start looking at pictures and reading yay so step one and two we're going to follow the instructions First thing it tells you to do is to pull this thing out from inside there. That's where it came out of. And it looks like a little alien thing. It didn't have this one on it. But I wanted to make sure of how it went together. Because then I can hold that there. And all you do, it's, it's kind of dummy proof. There's little notches on here that you'll be able to take and push it. You spin it until it falls in flat. Yeah, doing this with one hand is not working for me. Um, so anyway, there, turn it till it pushes in and then turn it a quarter turn clockwise and then just keep going around and get all those on there. So the easy way, now that I've looked at it a little bit more, there's a notch right in the tip of that. And it's the only notch. That notch goes on the top side. So just feel around for it and go on the not uh, top side. Let me up at one more level. Level of difficulty is more because you have to assemble this inside of this. So stick it down in there. That notch that I showed you lines up with that notch. Once you get those notches lined up, press it in and give it a quarter turn clockwise and it'll lock in. Well, there we go. You can see it in there. With it in there now, just set it down on the bottom and go to the next step. All right, next step, they want you to attach the uh, motor. And the motor is going to mount as so. Like I said, there's a group of holes over here. I found on our particular model, the, the second one in will match up on both sides just fine. There's four bolts that come in a small bag with four washers and four nuts. 
So you're going to take the washer and the nut will end up going on the bottom side so that it holds firmer with the plastic and leave your bolt going in from the bottom down. That way everything is fairly well hidden underneath and you don't have bolts sticking up and it's easier to put it together. What I use is a, uh, a uh, ratchet with a adjustable like monkey wrench and uh, I found that the uh, 15 millimeter socket is what fits these very well. So I'll use the socket for underneath and I'll use this for on top to get those screwed together. Alright, got those tightened down pretty good. And then I took the liberty to go ahead and there's four screws so I went ahead and put those four screws in. We'll find out later if I have to take them off again. What we're going to be focusing on, you can do a little bit of me. Oh, oops, sorry, started. When? Alright. Can you see me? Yeah. Alright. So what we did was we mapped out which way we want our hard lines to go. This is the T fitting that's between the two uh, in ports from, from the pool. This goes between them. Now, the hoses that go from here to the pool and from here to the pool, which the skimmer is going to be on this side, they're not strong enough from what we've heard. They'll collapse. So what we want to do is we want to hard line it. In other words, more of a PVC piping to go onto this here on both sides. So we're bringing this with us because these are the same size as the ones that are on the pool and then so we just got to get something that'll work with this. On the bottom here, I'm watching the road as a matter of fact, so nobody. on the bottom, this is how big the other hoses that come with the pump are. So we'll be able to match this with whatever we want to do on that. Now we also have this, this covers up the outside. We have ones that screw in so you can push the hose on and clamp it, or these go on the outside. If we can find hard line that matches these so we can screw it on and tighten it on with just the hard line, then we might go that route because this would ensure that a bigger hose, a bigger pipe rather than the plastic hoses that, that come with it, which that's more, more water flow can pass through it without collapsing or, you know, whatever. So we brought the pieces that we needed to try to put together something on our on our new pool. Of course, we'll get more than enough PVC pipe if if we end up being able to go that route. If not, the main thing we want to do, because we have everything else we need to connect to this and to the pump, is just this piece to the pool and this piece to the pool with a stronger hose that won't collapse with the pressure of the pump going. So now we're on our way to Home Depot, and we'll see you guys when we get there. All right, I'm beat. I just loaded a load of dirt on that. Anyway, we're back from the uh, Home Depot, and we got uh, Cook Creek pool filter sand. It's only like six bucks a bag. We ended up getting three. It should only take 100 pounds, so we just got the third pound just in case. They're 50 pound bags. We got a whole bunch of fittings. I'll have to show you guys that as we move along and the way I'm going to be able to connect everything to the uh, to the sand pump but I got to make a spot for the sand pump so we're going to basically like I said hardline connect from here to there here to there and then I'm going to bring this over here and we're going to put the pump right here in this area so I need to fill this area in with dirt and then I'm going to line it across and back with bricks so we can keep a nice little area right here for our for a sound pump to be able to fit. So I need to take that load of dirt and we're gonna put it here, I'm gonna pile it up and then I'm gonna take some bricks and go around and then we'll make a nice little pad right there. So stay tuned. We got that to coming up right now. All right, so we got the uh, this moved into place. This is uh, permanently temporary <laughs> or temporarily permanent. So, yeah, do you know what that means? That means that it's uh, permanently here or temporarily so we can move it. If we don't move it, then it's permanently. Yeah, it kind of goes back and forth. So we move the ladder over to there, and uh, we're going to go ahead and finish installing this. Uh, the reason we had to get all this done first is because the next step is we have to put a bag over this. That's just to ensure that no sand goes down in there. And then we're going to put this over the top and then we feed the sand in until we get it all the way up to the top center or all the way about three quarters of the way up. I'm thinking it's the bottom line here. We don't really want to go over that 
possibly down to right in here. So we know where the center of the belly is and we don't want to really go much farther up from there. So uh, it says 110 pounds. We're going to put two bags in there and see where we are from there. So all right, let's see that next. All right, so we got the sand filled in there. It says to fill it up three, half to three quarters of the way, which that's what we did. So if you look at it, it's about right in there, about there. So it's actually probably right about here is where it's filled up to. And that was two pound or two bags of the 50 pound. Um, we got the, uh, the clamp ring put on here. There's an O-ring that goes on to the bottom of that. I think I showed you that earlier. And it goes right there. You see that roundness. Right. Dang it. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see. Right here. There's an O-ring right there. It's that. Put that on there. Um, it also says to fill this up uh, almost all the way with water. And then this will end up going here. Right onto that. And it's just going to slide on there. And then it's going to rest down right onto it. And then you stick this clamp around it. And it says don't over tighten this. You're just trying to squeeze it down to, to hold the pressure of the pump moving. Um, right here, this one goes to the pump. So this is the way we're going to do it. We're going to have this this way, like this. And then this is going to run out and down to the pump. Okay. And then we've got the inlet right there. This is going to come over here. To these two lines that we're going to connect and then this is the uh, waste so when you want to flush the system it'll come out right here we have the pressure will be on this side and then this is the return the return will end up going over to this one up here on the wall and jets the water back in so now we're going to work on getting it full and uh getting the rest of this put together right now all right, I really do apologize. We had a problem with the, all the pipes and everything that we got. We were gonna hard line this from here over to everything, remember? Well, the fittings that we got didn't ended up not working for what we wanted to, to do. So basically the hose that came with it is what we're using here. And that goes, that's the short one. And then there's one long one that goes from there over to the backside and it's all marked where it's supposed to go. The last one is to there and it goes over to here. Now what you do, see because we kept these from the pool, you were able to close these and uh, make them work. The way we did this was we actually did a PVC pipe. We did a one inch nipple that actually sticks out a little bit here. And then we took a piece of this like plastic pipe that we got from, from Home Depot and we were able to slide it over the existing piece that was on the pool and then slide it over the one inch pipe and then we clamp those in place and we did that in all four spots so that we could make sure that it that this was center because in that way it sucks from both sides we put a piece of pipe here just to hold it up here's the thing on this side we have the on the other side we have the skimmer and the skimmer was fairly easy to put together and it's got one hose that comes through but now the thing is is this one with both of them running, the skimmer wasn't working the way it should. So we went ahead and plugged off the secondary one. So now all the bugs are really starting to go into there and it's working like the skimmer should. And it's pulling it all through. Um, it's got a good, a good kick on the other side. In fact, we've only had it on for about 30 minutes and everything on the bottom of the pool is already starting to swirl and already starting to move. And we're really happy about that, but again, I'm really sorry that I didn't uh, show you how I did all of this on the rest of the pool. And, uh, and uh, we found out that this particular, particular pump that we got, it, uh, it cycles. So it does short cycles where it'll clean for a little while and then it'll stop. And it'll clean for a while and it'll stop. We thought we were going to need a timer until, well, until Gina actually read the instructions. And uh, bucks we, are good. yeah, bucks are good. So she found out that we didn't that we don't need to turn it off we just leave it on and it'll turn on and off we did actually add uh an actual ground to the ground it says ground it to the pool but we don't have a metal pool so there's really nowhere to ground it because the metal poles hook into plastic to metal to liner not really touching that so we grounded it here straight in there and uh we got all that we asked our 
neighbor Tommy here to uh, if he had anything and he come up with the wire in the ground so that's about two foot into the ground and there's about six inches sticking out so we got that all set up so thank you for watching the video sorry I didn't get a little bit more detailed on everything that I did uh, if you have any questions please uh, please put them in the comments below thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already I've got all kinds of different videos that I do this isn't the only thing I've got automotive stuff and and just bits here and there of all kinds of stuff so all right well thank you for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video look at that cute girl right there